Father God, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name, we lift up this mission safari to Washington, D.C. We have been called by trustworthy media to meet with like-minded patriots on Friday in Washington, D.C. We have about 1,700 miles or 2,800 kilometers to go. And then we're going to be down there showing the anti-abortion graphic signs and uh, issuing verbal messages and giving video updates to Africa through Project C on WhatsApp. Lord, we, we're trying to call the nation and ultimately the world of repentance, but especially this nation, where everything we see around us, Lord, is blood guilt curses. And we're trying to, and, but people are listening to our extremely convicting message coming out of the, uh, the mouths of the, the journalists at this uh, trustworthy news source. One of the few that's left standing, Lord. And, and, you know, he says things like, well, we let 60 million babies die. Maybe we deserve all this. And he gets more uh, listeners and viewers and, and readers, not less when he does that. So that means the people, as near as I can tell, are ready to hear the message. And we help us let your words be our words. Your deeds be our deeds. We are, we are uh, fallible men. We are not paragons of virtue. But we're asking that you use us uh, to your will in this situation. We, we hope that we get coverage from uh, the uh, media and that it goes out. Not only that they videotape us, but that it goes out because millions of people are watching this new service that's going to be there, Lord. And we just lift it all up. We, not by our merit, but because we're under the blood of Jesus, we come boldly into the throne room of you, Father God, and get in your face and intercede on behalf of all these babies being slaughtered and this nation about to be judged greatly. We want to come back under your providential protection if that's possible. And we don't know your, we don't know your mind. Maybe it's not. But, it, you know, you also know that people don't get off the dime until they're absolutely up against the wall. Our founding fathers talked about that in our founding documents. Well, they are now, Lord. That could be your upbringing. So we got a big crisis. Crisis has danger. Crisis has opportunity. Help us to run to the roar of the opportunities here, Lord. There's going to be some dangers. It's very possible that the truckers will have the beltway totally bogged down. So it might be hard to get in. It might be hard to get out. And maybe our enemies, Antifa and BLM, will show up. And they're threatening to burn down the White House, which we will be in proximity to. And they have a spirit of murder, Lord. So we're, we're asking uh, for your traveling graces and mercies and, and being able, the main thing is, we're not, I'm not even asking to survive this. I'm asking that we ha are effectively getting this message out to the United States and also to the continent of Africa in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen.